Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. My first guest is the CEO of The Beauty Reports and convener of the Luxury Beauty Brunch, a platform conceptualized to discuss the growing trends within the beauty industry. Since inception, Taya Falabi's Beauty Reports have been known for profiling key trends and stakeholders in the beauty industry. Her luxury beauty brunches, which have till date seen over 70 experts and hosted over 250 beauty enthusiasts. And with all these accolades under her belt, the Beauty Reports is fast becoming one of the go-to brands when you want your stake in the industry profiled. Tyle's aim is to discover, celebrate and create brand awareness and sustainability in order to bridge the knowledge gap in the beauty industry. Welcome to The Morning Show, Tayo. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. You look gorgeous in green, thank celebrating you. Nigeria, I see. Yes, of course. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about The Beauty Reports. Okay, The Beauty Reports was um, founded in 2016 as an avenue to further profile the trends and the stakeholders in the beauty industry. Um, we found a gap in the industry where the stakeholders were not really celebrated or profiled. I mean, Nigeria has come a long way through social media, through the digital age, and we, thought, we felt a platform such as the Beauty Reports would give them a platform to speak about their brands, the growing cosmetics industry, the growing um, skincare industry in Nigeria. Right. Everything is growing, so Absolutely. it needs to be archived, hence the, the founding of the Beauty Reports. And what exactly is it? Okay, it's a documentary as well as an online website. So it's a social media strategy, social media content, so to speak. So we speak with stakeholders, we profile their, their um, establishments, what they do, whether they're manufacturers, makeup artists, skincare specialists, whoever you are. If you have a stake in the beauty industry, even if you write about the industry, we would like to speak with you. So. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's really interesting. Thank so you. with all the reports that you have been doing on the beauty industry yes. in Nigeria, where do you see that it is so far? Okay, um, Nigeria has grown in leaps and bounds, and it's growing with the rest of the world. World. Of course, the, the, the world is extremely developed. The beauty industry is worth over 100 billion. Um, but as a whole, the Nigeria industry is growing so fast that I feel um, we are <laughs> we are moving we're moving in at a pace where everything is just moving so fast, and it, it's it's worth celebrating. Absolutely. Although it's slow, but. Uh, through social media and everything that's been going on through technology, through um, networking with the rest of the world, it's an avenue to, to definitely watch. And you work in public relations, is that correct? Yeah, that's my core. So tell me about working in public relations in, in Lagos, Nigeria, and focusing on beauty and the beauty industry. What has okay. that been like for you? Um, first of all, the company is a multi-sector company. That's World PR, so we deal with different sectors. But in 2004, we felt that Nigeria was ready for a situation where stakeholders would be, would be profiled. And in Nigeria as a whole, whilst people are now becoming to see the need for public relations, it's definitely been an interesting journey, especially when we use our skills and what we do to assist the projects we, we work on. So it hasn't been a smooth journey, but with every journey you learn as you go, as you Absolutely. go forward. Absolutely. And how did you get started in the world of publicity? Um, long story short, cut it short. Um, in 2000 Four, my sister started a magazine, and um, the magazine, the exquisite magazine, I don't know if I can say my yes, sister. Yes, yeah, So I was a deputy editor, and we had a client, a very, very um, intelligent client who did not have the budget to contact other media houses right. when he was about to launch his product, did not have the know-how. So I'm like, oh, hey, I could do that. <laughs> um, I would like to speak to other media houses, et cetera, et cetera. And my sister, who was the, found the editor of the magazine, she was like, no, you cannot be a part of a magazine and be speaking with other press. You either quit or you do not take this job. And I was like, oh, my God, I would like to take this job. So I, I you know, respectfully resigned, although I still handle the strategy for Exquisite Magazine and a lot of um, their projects now. So it was a win-win situation for me, but that was how I got started in the PR world. That is amazing. <laughs> and obviously your sister shaped you, but heavily influenced your decisions to venture into it. Yes, it, it, well, she did, she did. As you know, she's very, 
um, passionate about everything she did. So Exquisite was definitely a platform for me to grow into the public relations industry, learn on the field, learn on the go, you know, every, everyone is always learning. But yes, it was definitely a big part of it. And what are some of the challenges that you would say you faced in sort of getting, trying to, to bring awareness to the beauty industry in Nigeria? Okay. Um, we started as a PR company. Eventually, when we moved to Nigeria, we found that even if you're handling their PR and you're creating a persona that people are supposed to be 100% um, happy with, if different sections of the company is not okay, i.e., I'm handling your PR, but you have a bad attitude. Not you, the brand. <laughs> <laughs> the brand has a bad attitude or their delivery system. If it's a company where they deliver products or services, if there are problems with their logistics system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If other parts of the company is not well, is not operating properly. You will just be wasting money on PR because if other parts don't work, then the brand is not growing. So eventually we had to divert from PR and offer business growth services, um, you know, business strategy advice. We had to develop into other aspects of business solutions in wall PR to assist all those other sectors and make their PR work. So to speak. That's amazing. <laughs> How would you say that you measure the success of the beauty reports? Well, I measure the success of the beauty reports with how long we've been profiling. We've been recording now for almost two years and I'm glad, well, um, almost a year and a half. And I'm glad to say that all our content will be launching on our YouTube channel within the next week, week and a half at War PR Media YouTube channel. Um, it's been quite interesting. A lot of people don't get that, um, you know, you actually need to be profiled for you to see that what you're doing is is on the right path. But it's, it's been a, it's be, the way I would measure the success is the amount of people we've been able to to interview and the amount of lives we've been able to change through our strategy system. And tell me about some of the beauty brunches that you've held. Okay. Um, the concept of the Luxury Beauty Barn started in 2014. I just wanted a scenario where beautiful women would sit down, have, have brunch and discuss different issues in the beauty industry. So for every brunch, which is a theme, for example, we've had a world of fragrances um, brunch. We've had a gorgeous hair, gorgeous nail brunch. We've had a, um, what was the last one? Knowing your skin type brunch. Right. We, we choose a theme, we stick to it, which is a color code. So we might say touch of yellow, touch of red, you know, make it fun and then invite experts to speak at the brunch. Um, so far, we've, we've invited over 70 experts to speak at the brunch and we've hosted almost 300 ladies to brunch. So um, the brunch in itself is very interesting and it's a concept that we're happy with. Amazing. <laughs> so we are going to go for a quick break on the morning show and when we come back, we're staying with you and you're going to tell me all about the beauty reports in its entirety and the next one that we can look forward to. Thank you. Time now for a short break on the morning show. When we return, we'll stay with Tyre. Don't go away. Welcome back to The Morning Show, here on Arise News with me, Katiri King. As promised, we're staying with Taya Falabi and she's about to disclose exactly what went down at the last Beauty Brunch series. <laughs> Taya, you have a funny story to share with me. The most stressful event you've ever hosted. What was it? And tell me, give us names. Name and shame. Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> I don't name and shame, but um, one of the most stressful events actually we've planned aside from the brunch there was a particular brunch that was sh stressful but um one of, one of the most stressful was the mercedes-benz world pr beauty business week that we did right it was the first of its kind um mercedes decided to partner with us because usually mercedes does fashion yes so you know we went into this presentation we're like you know you should be the pioneer of the beauty industry we painted this whole elaborate picture and they were like fine wow we'll, we'll do it um, you know, planning the event was very exciting as well as stressful because, you know, Nigeria is a place where people don't understand that sometimes if people offer you things for free, mm. it's actually something good, right. not substandard, not blah, blah, blah. So we had a lot of stress um, acquiring some, sponsor, some other sponsors to sort of back the event financially. And it was so stressful because... 
um, doing something like that and doing it maybe with your own personal funds and blah blah blah, it could it could it can it can be draining. Of course, yes, it sucks the beauty out of the situation. <laughs> no you pun know? intended, of course. Exactly, no <laughs> pun. Um, but it was a it was a very good learning experience, and we've dotted all the i's and crossed all the t's and you know we're ready for the next one you know but brunch wise um the most stressful brunch i've ever planned was all our brunches are held in different places we could hold it in a spa we could hold it in a restaurant um but well, you know what before you finish that mm -hmm. thought let's give our audience a little visualization of what yes. one of those brunch experiences is like mm, interesting Artists of our faces, we should be able to act when called upon to deliver as an artist. So, therefore, you are required to draw an illustration of you and your dressing table, getting ready for a day out. How do you do that? How do you do That looks like fun. That was actually our second brunch, so a very long time ago when we still had our training wheels on, <laughs> you know. Um, for every brunch, we tell every woman to come or every guest to come with their fabulously fun self because we play games, games, of course, that are geared around, you know, things you do normally every day to get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. So we draw, we pick the best ones, we pick the worst ones, you know. It, it was, it's always, you know, very interesting to see people participate. It gets them out of their shell and ready to network. That is amazing. And we can see pictures on screen now from one of the other beauty brunches and all the different products that you have in front of them. Yes. So talk to me through the experience. What can we look forward to at the next event that you're hosting? And when okay. is it? Okay, so the next event we're doing, we've partnered with the Beauty Therapy Institute, which is the number one institute in Nigeria that um, teaches both end users and stakeholders in the industry how to... Um, uphold the standards in the beauty industry. So we've set up a two-day event with them on the 15th and on the 18th of November. So make sure you you, you are there. I <laughs> would have been there. Unfortunately, I won't be in the country. Really? But oh my God. Okay. Maybe however, I'm going to make it up to you by telling you I've invited the Beauty Therapy Institute here today. Oh yes. <laughs> So we can just hold our little brunch here the today. There we go. You know, so um, basically one of the things we're also doing is, you know, usually women go to spas. They don't know what they're supposed to expect. So sometimes you're supposed to fill out a form. You're supposed to be asked, do you want to be spoken to? Because sometimes you go to the spa. Oh, my you're, goodness. You're I need one of those forms so I can take. No. no exactly. <laughs> I don't want to be spoken to at all. When you say hello, when I say hello, I just want don't to even get... tell me hello. <laughs> just, just leave me in. Right? Show me the room I need to be in. Lock Seriously? the door and go away. That's how I love my spa treatment. Exactly. You want to be relaxed. You don't want to speak to anybody. If possible, they should give you a glass of something whilst you're getting your, you your, get your massage you on. You get it. So, yes, we teach them what to look forward to when you go to a spa. Also, if you're having... Um, treatments that are sort of advanced, like, you know, maybe microdermabrasion, you know, skin peeling, etc., etc. Questions you need to ask your therapist because you don't want to mm. walk in looking like tile and walk out looking like aisle. <laughs> 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 All right, girl, I like that. <laughs> so, yes, we've partnered with them to have that next event. So it's, it's something very interesting to look forward to. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have learned it. I'm so <laughs> angry. But for those of my viewers, who desperately want to get in touch with you and find yes. out how they can attend, how can they get a hold of you okay, by social so media? They can follow us on at The Beauty Reports and they can follow um, the, uh, the Beauty Therapy Institute at the BTI Lagos. Follow both platforms and read through all the information we've been posting there in the in the last weeks or last days it definitely has all the registration information on how to come and be a part of this spectacular do amazing <laughs> stuff and if my skin is going to look anything like yours i will be there with bells on <laughs>
Wait, how am I going to get there? Exactly. If you send me a plane, I'll be there with bells on. Oh, we should be talking to another sponsor for that. Oh, okay, girl. I will, I'll give them a call. You make the conversation. <laughs> it is time now for a short break on the morning show, but stay tuned because when we return, I'll be joined by the doctors. Don't go away.